Hi guys and welcome to Tech Team GB. In this video we're going to be covering the differences between the X.264 encoder and the hardware graphics card encoders like the, the likes of NVENC for NVIDIA cards and obviously AMD have their own version too. And what the differences are, if it's worth using one over the other, any performance differences and visual fidelity differences that you can see. So let's jump into it. With the hardware encoder that is built into your graphics card, both AMD and NVIDIA have this functionality. So don't don't worry, I will be referencing the NVIDIA encoder here because that's the one I'm using, but both sides have it, so don't worry about that. Uh, with the e NVENC encoder, which is their NVIDIA uh, version, um, that one uses the built-in hardware H.264 encoder that's on the graphics card to do basically the same thing. Now, some people say that the X.264 encoder prov provides much better quality and visual fidelity in the stream and the recordings, where some people don't care too much about the difference and can't necessarily uh, say that they see a difference. So in this video we're going to be covering kind of all of that. The performance differences between uh, not streaming, streaming with the CPU and streaming with the GPU and any differences in visual fidelity which we're actually going to start with now. So let's start with a quality test. I'm going to leave them up on the screen. I'm going to leave clip A and clip B and I want you to let me know in the comments down below and no cheating, don't skip ahead, which clip you think is which. Uh, clip A or clip B for X264 and clip A or clip be for the graphics card NVENC. Let me know in the comments down below. Now I appreciate that these clips aren't necessarily identical, but I've I clipped them so that they are relatively similar scenarios with relatively similar things happening so that it shouldn't be too hard to see any major differences. I would mention that the settings I was using for the stream version, and I would say that uh, with the X.264 encoder enabled uh, and for the NVENC enabled, I was actually re-recording or effectively doubly encoding with this. So I was streaming at 6,000 megabits, uh, kilobits per second to Twitch, as well as also using the indistinguishable quality setting in OBS to record separately, and uh, the clip that you're seeing is the recorded version. Now clip A that you saw, that was with the X.264 encoder, and clip B was with the graphics cards NVE and C encoder. Now personally, I cannot tell the difference without zooming right in, and the quality and the experience of watching the clips really doesn't matter in terms of you know any differences to me. I also got my partner to check this through as well, and she couldn't tell any difference either, so I'm fairly happy to say that unless you are really pixel peeking, I don't think you'll notice much of a difference. I do also want to mention, in terms of the FPS, the, the gameplay experience for you, the streamer, this actually is a fairly big difference. Now, of course, you can stream directly through Shadowplay and get really minimal, only a couple of percent performance hits from your gameplay, but I was using OBS here, and as I mentioned, I was both recording and streaming, which does take a little bit more of a CPU uh, overhead. So, um, in terms of the raw FPS with Fortnite on the Epic settings, it was running at 140 FPS with the uh, GPU encoder, uh, again, streaming to both Twitch and recording to the local machine, uh, you're running about 120 FPS, and then using CPU encoder, again, both streaming to Twitch and recording at a different quality setting locally, you're looking at about 100 FPS. So a relatively big difference, especially when you look at streaming versus not streaming. And of course, you're literally halfway in between when using the graphics card here. And again, that's still slightly worst case scenario as you're both recording and streaming in different kind of formats. So what's the conclusion here? Here. Well, if you're after a streaming and gaming PC, then personally I would recommend just using your graphics cards encoder, whether that's AMD or Nvidia, and get that performance gain back and get still really good quality footage. Now, of course, I do want to mention that depending on the bitrate you're using, this may vary. So if you have, say, a more limited internet connection and you're streaming,
streaming at say 3000 megabits per second at 720p. The X.264 encoder may be slightly more visibly better, but it really does depend on a lot of variables in terms of what you are recording, what you're playing, and the hardware you have, and obviously things like what settings you're using to record that as well. So um, th there's some variables here, but to give you an idea, I was using a 4K monitor running all of the games at 1080p and uh, exporting at 1080p as well at 60 FPS with, as I said, 6,000 megabits per, per second, uh, kilobits per second, sorry, and the indistinguishable fire quality setting in OBS. But that's my thoughts. I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below. Are you a streamer? Are you getting started and you're really, you know, you much prefer the X.264 encoder or is it something that you really don't care about or you're not a streamer, you, you just want to see some cool content, you'd rather the best quality possible? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And with that said, if you want to support this channel, keep me making these videos, including all of the testing that I have to do for all of these videos, then feel free to check out the Patreon link in the description down below where you can support me directly or I would really appreciate it if you could use the Amazon or Overclock UK affiliate links. If you just click on those links before you purchase the stuff you're going to purchase anyway, uh, then that massively helps me out and definitely supports the channel. So thank you to everyone who's already using it and thank you to you if you're even considering using it because it really does help out. If you're new to the channel, you can also check out the subscribe button with the, the bell notification icon thing for, well, notifications. Uh, there are some other videos over here for you. Make sure you check out both the Fortnite streaming video and the Ryzen uh, second gen streaming videos as well if you haven't already. And otherwise, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and we'll see you all in the next video.